So let's attempt to reproduce this effect. And again, you know, if I have a background layer and I drop in some, some paint, some color here, let me just change the color of the background to maybe orange. You know, it's, it's very cool. And so let's try to get this going. So first thing I did is I want an image about the same size as theirs. So if I control A, I select everything and control C, I copy it. So let's go to new image. Um, it gets the same dimensions, so that's my image. I'm going to control A it and just delete everything just to start off with nothing in there. So if you look here, if you get rid of their background layer, they actually have you know, kind of a nice little stripe there where they had some buttons. So let's put that in ours. So first thing I'm going to do is you know, I need to kind of a little bit of border around. I'm not trying to replicate exactly, just general concept here. And then I'm going to fill that area with some black, and then right below it, I'm going to fill the area below it with a little bit darker color. So let's you know, get something in there that looks like um, their flame. I can't draw that flame, so I'm going to use one of my favorite places to go when I need images. That is Icon Finder. And let's, you know, get a light bulb. These light bulbs are, you know, they're bright. Let's get the biggest one we can, 128 pixels. Um, let's go ahead and put this down there. So I've got that. Let's uh, open up that in uh, the light bulb image. So let's select. I'm going to select all the transparent pixels, and then I'm going to control I to invert it. And then I can copy the light bulb content. And what I'm going to do next is come in here and um, just paste it in, see what we get. And it's a little bit small compared to what it was, but I'm going to stretch it out. And, uh, let's make it into that shape. Fairly decent. For now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. So, what I need to do next is <clears throat> I'm going to temporarily color all these transparent pixels at the top. Just deselect everything and just color that red for now. And then I need to work a little bit on my light bulb to get that translucent or transparent effect. I need to turn all of these pixels into transparent pixels. Select. Control key, select. Control key, select. And then I got most of it, except for I need to get this last bit, so I forgot to hold my control key last time. I won't forget that again. So now I've got most of that. It looks like I am you know, not quite selected. I want to get some of this here. Add this into my selection. Maybe even one more here. Okay, so that's probably good enough. Let me zoom back out here. So what I have selected is all of this area, including here. So I'm going to invert this, and now I've got this bit selected. So I'm going to delete it. It makes it all transparent. I'm going to add a layer, and let's bump it underneath. Let's go ahead and color this area. I'm going to color blue. And I got some blue around the bottom. Let's get my sampler. Let's sample this gray. Um, I want to be able to go in and wherever I see a little bit of blue, I guess kind of, that means it's kind of almost too transparent. I'm just going to go in and fix it up. Okay, let's zoom out and see what we got. So it's looking a lot better. So I got the bottom of the light bulb, but I still have the top bright blue. Um, and again, the reason the top is bright blue is because that's really my background. So my top is really very transparent. So in my background image now, I want to select all those blue pixels. Let me get my right colors. Primary color, I want to set that. Secondary color, I want to set um, essentially transparent pixels. And let's try this glow again. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is leave it about right in that realm right 
there. Click OK. Change this background color to say orange. I start to get that nice effect. So what I need to do next is get rid of all these bright red pixels. So go back to my background, select them, and just simply delete those out of there. So now let me zoom out a little bit. I'm starting to get the, kind of the effect that we, we want. Um, I've got a background layer that's orange. The top part's transparent. I've got my uh, light bulb here that we've added some effects to. If I switch my background color to maybe blue, um, that bleeds through and I still see my light bulb. A little bit of kind of reddish tinge around there from where I had the red before. So I may have overdone it just a tad bit, but you kind of get the idea. Maybe purple. Yeah, maybe I like that little red. Definitely is okay in that color scheme. So we've got that. Now they also have this nice kind of glow. That's, that's a pretty neat effect. So let's try to add that little glow in there. So for this, I'm definitely going to need a new layer. So this is going to be my glow layer. And to get this glow effect, what I'm going to do is use these same colors I had before. Half transparent white, all the way transparent white. Let's use our fade or gradient tool. Let's do a radial gradient. I'm going to start from about where I kind of think that the, the brightness is emanating from, which is in this light bulb. And I'm going to go out. You can start to see our glow effect. And I don't know, maybe something ground in there. Looks kind of nice. Now, it's kind of a nice effect, but I don't like that we've kind of faded out all of that around the light bulb. So let's go back to our um, our main thing. Sometimes with those that tolerance level that high, it kind of creeps. This is better. Let's add that little bit. Add that stripe. Add that. Add that. Um, we'll invert this now. Control I to invert. Um, kind of want to add in. Use my lasso tool. Just scrape in a little bit. Get that cleaned up. All right, so I've got that my light bulb highlighted again. So I go back to my glow. And I delete now. So now what I've effectively done is I've deleted my glow from the glow area just around the light bulb. So now I have a pretty intense light bulb. And that's the effect. You know, they have a caption that they've added. We can add our caption in there. Pick the font tool. Let's go ahead and get some maybe font colors. It was white. Let's drop something on here. Keep that. So with these three layers, we've got our image. And we could collapse all these down and save them, but for now I'll just keep them there. So you know we have the caption, you turn that on and off. You have the glow, you turn that on and off. And you've got the background, which is everything else. And then this is just the layer that you know, is uh, you know, really kind of going to highlight it. And here you can even see that that red, you know, I really did bleed that red in when using that glow that I had. And I could probably do that much better, but we'll keep that now and play around with that on your own. Um, but now essentially I've got my my image that I was trying for. And it's a very subtle but very neat effect. So on my web page now, I can change the background color and that automatically changes all of the stuff that's around it and you still have that nice kind of beautiful glowing object in the middle and you know it's a little pixelated around the edge it's not as you know done up as, as what theirs is and i got to give them credit they really did a great job on that um, but we're getting darn close and i think if i spent a little bit more time we'd be able to get that too